let's pick up on what we sort of left off as we were going to pray. Uh, I think Benjamin, had, Mr. Benjamin had called in from Oyo State and uh, talking about, well, this whole free market economy, which is a very, very, very popular, some would say intellectual concept. But he was saying, that is uh, Mr. Benjamin calling in from Oyo State, that government can't totally hands off business. Um, okay, let's talk about that a bit. When Ashwa Jewel Ahmed Tinubu was talking to the business community in Lagos, uh, one of the things that he's quoted, uh, one of the things that he said, he said, well, he didn't say read my lips, but he could have for the kind of effect. Read my lips. Fuel subsidy uh, must go up to there. Now, I have my own issues on reviews that are coming out. Chatham House, that all of the presidential candidates went to, Chatham House has done its review, and um, I felt that the review I saw, my own personal, individual, one-person opinion, is that it was a very hostile uh, kind of re uh, review. And they, they threw in there this whole question of uh, uh, removing subsidy, implying that actually it might not be doable once the president-elect arrives in office. Your thoughts? So... We are practically built consensus regarding issues touching and concerning removal of subsidy. When you say consensus, that we've agreed that it we has to be done? Ag we have not agreed. You said we built consensus. Consensus building. Okay. If you, the three major contenders before president elect emerged all said they were going to remove subsidy. What further consensus is that? Okay. Uncle Yori, so let me go. Uh, My opinion. Well, My before you go, let me add Reverend Dominic, because you're I not, feel... You're not, you're not going to allow us to articulate this uh, but you know, it, 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 it is, is the, fine. It, it is fine. the format of our program. That's the tradition. You, you I know, don't want to take over your program. You from are you. not a stranger to our program. <laughs> and it's probably going to be a fuller question for you to respond to. Morning, Reverend Dominic. Good morning, Chief Yari. Go good ahead, morning, please. Uh, good morning, Dr. Bisi. I'm not doctor. I'm simply <laughs> okay. Mr. Bisi Adibu is my name. Okay. I know you very well. You're a man of letters. You are an intellectual of international repute. Let me say this, Yuri. Something happened in 2015 when we fought about APC. Myself, George, uh, Alaji, Jacob, and most of us. In, in 2015, BC came in, in as a postmaster. I listened to him one of his presentations, and I said, oh, that take us to message you all. How we know it? He was removed. But somebody had been in this government for eight years. Minister of Education, I want to mention his name. Who with since he came into power, that the numbers of children out of school in the north, he have not removed anyone. He has such failure. He's still in this government. But intellectuals like this man were pushed away. Let me set agenda for Ashwaju. The first thing he will do is to balance the government by appointment. The worst thing that happened to the PC and Buhari, it was that he shipped some part of nations out of Nigeria, which you know, that caused all the pain we have today. George has alluded to that. If anything must balance, senior president must come from the southeast. Election has come and gone, no matter what happened. But I trust Ashwaju, and I trust Yoruba when they're in power, honestly. When a Yoruba man is in power, you know how to balance government. Take it or give it to Obasan. When Obasan was in power, no man talk about, you know, discrimination in power balancing. But this man, our father, called has done worse to that. When I show you come, the first thing he must do is to bring this nation as divided. And I know he will do it. When he was in Lagos, he brought everybody on board that made Lagos there, from southeast, from the north, from the west. The man called the, the, the minister of interior today. You know where he come from? He was an engineer that drove the, the bridge we saw, what we call the Sulele Bridge, in some way at the sort of there. And they could have plotted it. What I'm trying to say, I sure you will do well, but let me not follow the old APC that made some of us stupid. To them still under attack because I thought that APC. Some of us, like, I'm not looking for appointments, I'm comfortable. But most of us are supposed to be a foot soldier for this government to give them information that beyond politics so it can succeed. Good morning, Mr. Bissi. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so you, much. Reverend Dominic. Okay. For me, where I come from in Yoruba land, 
and I have no apology for that. I have respect for other ethnic groups. When I was postmaster general, my uh, essay on tech was somebody from Southern Kaduna. My essay on social media, Makantari from somewhere in Kano or there about. My essay, so we can do the balancing. We are all friends, we are all brothers and sisters, but we must identify and respect our differences. Now, I don't want to deal with the prejudices of the past. President that is in office has done his bit. He has legacy and signature projects that you cannot deny him of. So, I respect him. He has good ass. Now, for me, let's go back to the issue of subsidy. When an elder stumbles in your land, he takes a look at the back. What happened? When an adult son stumbles, or a youngster stumbles, he looks, he keeps moving forward. Let's just see how we can balance the two. In my view, subsidy should be removed, subject to two things. And I want you to please hear me very clearly. I do not think with the way we are, we can do a 100% removal of subsidy. I think it should be done in phases. My view, I may be wrong, please don't crucify me. That's my view, my view. In the event that the president elect is desirous of removing subsidy only, totally, then we must think out of the box to deploy social intervention program driven by technology, auditable that we can trail. It is it is beyond buying buses for mass tran transit. In other jurisdictions, I mentioned it to you, they paid money into people's directly into their account, subject to identity mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. <laughs> and address validation. I mean that I was exposed to in both to local and international travels. Whatever I might have spent or the government have spent on me, just one program of digital address and address validation will pay off because Saudi Arabia spent $700 million on this project. Ghana there spent $2.4 million and they pay $400,000 on a yearly basis. To do, so, to do what? Ask them in Ghana. This is Nigeria. You said so, yeah, after paying two point something that million, is, they are now paying four hundred thousand dollars. It is very controversial. So don't do let us let's okay, mind I, our no, no, no. let's mind our business. Okay, this is Nigeria. Okay, how to go about it is what I'm talking about. So if there's going to be, as Ashwad you said, a removal of subsidy yeah. once his administration takes off. You are saying it goes beyond what we call palliatives here. Oh, certainly, certainly. Remember, we have started this thing from uh, 1986 during the former military dictator's uh, administration. Such an adjustment program, uh, removal of subsidy, diversification of the productive base of the economy, liberalization of trade. As much as I respect those, you must ensure that local peculiarities are taken care of. You have young men and women who own unicorns, you should try and bring them into government to head research institutions. We must do research, okay. research, research. Okay. Health is wealth. There are professors out there, molecular biologists, scientists, who can look out for homegrown solutions to our health problems. An epidemic is about to happen. I'm taking you to hell now. You know, I told you. An I become, epidemic is about to happen. Yes, it okay, is called. It is called. That. It is called resistance mm -hmm. of bacteria to conventional antibiotics. Okay. People are uh, already. At this stage, people are already commissioning projects <laughs> in that. I'm going to be on a webinar this afternoon All right. with African Speaking about experts. This. Okay.